Listen, did you get burnt? Did you get burnt in the record industry? What's well, real shit? I'm, ta- I'm talking about. I'm ta- I ain't talking about that. I'm talking about contractual. <laughs> Uh, Did you get burnt? Of course. My first record deal, I got $5,000. What? I got it in cash. Mm. <laughs> Me, my lawyer, Trash, and Capone all got the same amount of money. So y'all niggas got a stack of piece? Five bands a piece. Oh, wow. <laughs> <about Yeah>. <laughs> Five bands a piece. I knew something was wrong because I got it in cash. Right. And I was like, damn, nigga, I just left the, you know... Just left the other. When he wasn't got your shit cash. Yeah, and that, I got it in cash, so I knew it was something wrong. But um, yeah, I yeah. So 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 to answer your question, definitely, I got burnt in the industry, and um, yeah, I kept getting burnt, kind of like you know what I mean. Um, until until I until I recognized what was going on. What you mean you kept getting burnt? How many contracts you signed? Uh, well, after that, I did a, a solo deal, and then when I did the solo deal, I sold my publishing again because what happened? For how long? Only only for only for one album. Well, for okay. for seven hundred fifty thousand, but at that time, my publishing was probably worth like four million. Did it did it ever revert back to you? Of course, I got okay. my publishing right now. Okay, of course. I, I I mean, every other I was I would do it for every year, so that's the reason why I can't ever like you know um like fail Kanye because Kanye like when he's talking all that yo all this shit that's, that's Gil stance too. Gil can't feel it even. No, you know why? I can't because, feel him. I can't feel him because when he made the, he made the deal. Okay. When this is why I can't feel Kanye with that shit, right? Okay. Because <laughs> when you get into the game a certain way, mm-hmm. and you are part of zero point zero point, you less than one percent of the richest motherfuckers on planet Earth. How the fuck you gonna tell me not to take that route? Mm-hmm. I'm confused. You part of the richest motherfuckers on planet Earth, but you gonna say don't take that route, take ownership route. I don't own now, no. though. But now right. he's saying that, right? But you forget about when you was that little ass, hungry ass kid who just had a motherfucking dream. You ain't and you. What was the song? Had Big a pair of raggedy motherfucking Big Levi's. Brother. Yeah, right. Like when he was little, bro, yeah. he was cool with taking that. And that's the thing is, the thing is, the thing is, the thing is this: we're obligated to what we sign, right. regardless of, of what it is. Yeah, we can grow within that within that time period. So if we sign a three year deal. You can grow within that time period. But then you have to understand that you have to sit down at the negotiation tables and say, let's renegotiate, right? Most people say, just fuck it. Just give me more money. And that's that's that's, that's pretty much what the industry is. They just give you more money and you shut up. But but this, but this But to all the youngins out there, you got to understand mm-hmm. this, right? You have a youngin that's coming from the ghetto. Mm-hmm. Nigga, mama ain't got shit. Nigga, father ain't got shit, or his father ain't around, and all a nigga got is a dream. Mm. He get in the motherfucking offices, they give him a shot at his fucking dream. Mm. He don't ha- he, he ain't got no legs to stand on to say, I want ownership. I want to own my shit. Mm. I want this. I want that. Nigga, we don't know how we going to eat tomorrow, man. Oh, nigga, you said that the baby. You wanted this and you wanted that. You should have said, I would have signed the Here fucking paperwork. Go. I wouldn't have been, been back. Listen, I'm not coming back Let down, down, down no Philly. Let me tell you something. I would have came any back nigga, my cash money chain. Any motherfucker, any motherfucking body. But you was the did, same nigga that said this, though. Because anybody I ever did motherfucking deal with, I, I, I went in there and said, I want this, I want that. Nigga, because I know my worth, and I never was uh, to that point where I was busted and disgusted. I told you, if I ever got to the point that some of these niggas that I go ahead and dust myself the fuck off, nigga. Well, listen, all Fuck that shit sound about. good. You was a nut-ass nigga because you pulled the sign with baby. You would have been out of here. I sound like <laughs> Fuck that. Give it, up for, give it up for the number one shut, shut, no, shut dick up, host. Yo, you know baby FaceTime, man. I'm ready to start Cash Money East. I, after, after the Did drink camps. He, he said, you my nigga, Wilo. Yeah. What you want? After I need a label deal. Cash Money East. I need 50%. 50%. First of all, <laughs> no, no. First of all, twenty percent. Uh, first of all, they ain't here both discussing money that we know you niggas ain't gonna receive. <laughs> I mean, if one thing we know, two things we guaranteed to know is you niggas ain't gonna get no residuals. You can have all the fucking names you want. Ooh, I'm the president. I'm the I'm the motherfucking. Nah, Wallow gonna make it happen. I'm gonna make it happen. I'm gonna, I think Wallow gonna make it happen. Man. I'm sorry. Let me ask you a question. Yes, please.